Hey everybody, Travis Tuning with Four Tunings and today I'm walking out onto the Elk Refuge at Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I drew that bison tag. This is kind of a pre-scouting trip. We're gonna go over this hill right here behind me. Get up on here and take a look around. There's no bison on the refuge right now. I want to scout it. I want to know for later in the season where these little draws, little nooks and crannies are. So stay tuned. We're gonna get up here on these hills, take a look around. Should be fun. Hey every everybody. I got Malin here with me today. We're doing our first scouting trip up onto the uh, National Elk Refuge. We might be the first person that's maybe scouting it this season. The uh, season just started on the 15th. Today's the 16th, 17th. So uh, we're heading up here onto the, this little knoll here. Grand Teton's in the back over there. And uh, yeah, we just want to learn some of the terrain, the goalies, where everything's just kind of at. Just get a visual for when the season does come. Snow pushes the animals onto the refuge and we find that bison. Let's go exploring. Come on, bud. It's the 18th. Is it the 18th? Yeah. He says it's the 18th. Corrected me. this one little plateau right here on the elk refuge man it's just kind of cool to see areas that you can't see from anywhere else you see Jackson Hole straight back there behind me Snow King good Tetons over here I mean just just an awesome view Got to the top of this plateau. No animals, there's nothing up here this time of year. We did get us some tips though that the bison are maybe moved from where they normally are. So tomorrow we're gonna go take a peek. See uh, if we can figure out where the main herd is sitting at. So we'll try and get that into that this video as well. Beautiful day, a little windy which helps, maybe not with the audio for this video, but feels good. We're gonna get up here, peek at this one little hill, sit down, do a little glassing, eat some hot tamales, Reese's and Reese's Pieces, and uh, yeah, get some more video here. Yeah, it looks like a red tail. Hey guys, we're just sitting here on this little bluff on the Elk Refuge, looking the uh, birds, just messing around, getting out of the wind a little bit here. Super windy today. It's kind of disappointing. Um, but we're sitting here just above what's called Long Hollow. I'll show you a picture of it here in a second. Blast this out, don't see any animals. Um, so we're just chilling, gonna have some sandwich. And then maybe just kind of hike over this hill and kind of back towards the truck. But here's what the interior of the uh, National Elk Refuge in Jackson looks like. You can't see this unless you actually hike in there or in here. I'd love to see this when the elk are in here. But here's what it looks like. I'll show it to you now. There you can see the Tetons and the Grand Tetons straight in front of you. This is all National Elk Refuge right here in front of us. Over to the foothills, Forest Service kind of starts up there where the trees are out there a couple miles. Pretty cool. I'd love to see this valley full of elk or bison. Straight over this ridge line right here is another ridge line over the top of that and, and kind of in the background there are some trees on it. I believe that's Blacktail Butte. 
And then of course the Tetons. Grand Teton. Here's a little bear. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's uh, coming down to the evening time and uh, we came off of the elk refuge and I had heard that the bison had moved down the valley some from where they like to actually sit up in the north. And lo and behold, out here behind us, I can see a solid hundred. I'm gonna zoom this in to see if that captures it. There, out in there. Probably just like some brown dots to you. Um, could even see a lot of dust being kicked up. Pretty cool. They're probably out there. Head button. Um, got the Grand Tetons there behind us. We did see a bull bison just up the road over here, about a half mile back up the road. And he's about one mile from the Forest Service line. So we're actually going to come back in the morning, Malin and I, and take a peek see if anything has moved over this direction walk up a little trail a road over here and see if there might just be something there oh there's some dust getting kicked up if we had some binoculars you'd probably be able to see these guys out there uh really fighting i might have to go get my telescope and my tripod and put my camera on that mainly we could zoom into that you want to do that and see them fighting yeah. let's go get we're gonna be right back. I got my camera, or my, uh, I got my tripod, I got my spot and scope, I got my Carson attachment. We're gonna go get our stuff and we're gonna watch these guys. They are fighting out here. We're gonna try and get some video of this. That's gonna be pretty cool.
hope you enjoyed that video of those bison out there. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, they're all running around, rutting a little bit, chasing each other. And uh, now we're going to head back to camp, start a little fire, but just some cool little video. Of the bison up close, down lower in the national park than they usually are. We'll uh, do a little bit more scouting tomorrow. Hey guys, we're going to uh, interrupt this programming for a little fishing, fly fishing, spinner fishing on the uh, Grovant River. Let's hope we catch something. Two fish on, I lost them both. We're gonna go down to the next hole here, see what we can get into. Beautiful day. Looks like two nice little fish. Let's see what we catch in the next hole. We are doing a little extra scouting this morning, Malin and I. There's a retrieval route that I'm looking into. This retrieval route butts up to the Forest Service up here. And uh, so I want to see if this is something that might be for good access for me to come hunt and also know what I'm getting myself into for the next time I come back. So beautiful sunny morning, but the winds are up again. We might do a little fishing here a little bit. That might make it hard. Buffalo are still kicking it. I would say a mile and a half behind us. So yeah just a nice little morning stroll with my son and let's just check things out so holy cow we're going up this road right out over here is a bison he's actually walking this way towards us i'm going to zoom you in here let's see I'm trying to spot him in the viewfinder and i got the sun I got a point here, there. It's right out there somewhere by a green tree if that tree's in the view, I hope. Um, we're just gonna mosey up a little bit here but not get close. So, holy cow. He's only a half mile away from where I could actually shoot one. <laughs> This would be ridiculous because we're not geared up. We're in tennis shoes. And if he walked a half mile over, I think it's a bull. We're gonna get a little closer look at it. Got my binos and he's still coming this way. So we're gonna take a peek. gonna get any closer here this is with my son a little close
his angle, he's actually not heading to towards the Forest Service line. Forest Service line's back up on the hill over here. He's kind of angling uh, away from it, like in a northwest line. Definitely a nice bull, though. I can't believe he just came out from the prairie over there. That's the black dot. And he's just moving, and in the last three minutes, he's moved 300 yards. He's still going that way. Ah, cool. Um, might have to just take a peek at Onyx Maps here and just make sure how far over is that Forest Service line there. It's a ways, so we might try and take a peek at him later. Okay. Cool. Man, that was so cool. <laughs> that was so cool. We scouted this spot a little bit. That uh, bull is off over there somewhere. Not sure how close he might be to that Forest Service line. But uh, my son's not feeling well since Friday. And so it's already about 11 o'clock in the afternoon. It's not something I'm looking to gear us both up and go over there and sit and look around. There's a lot of aspen trees, so you get in those aspens and can't see very far. Well, and there, there's open spots that we'd have to get in and sit on. But just in case, we are probably not going to uh, go in there and hunt that bull today. Um, be another time. Got a long season to go. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. I'm going to be back up here in a few weeks chasing these guys again. I don't know, after seeing that, I might be up here sooner than later. Wasn't going to come back for three weekends. I might be back next week. I, I don't know yet. But thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. More bison hunts coming. More elk hunts are going to be starting in two weekends. Bow hunting. It's going to be, going to be fun. Thank you. We'll talk to you guys later.